What's up guys? A little walk through memory lane. This is my uh, first iPad that I ever got in 2012. Still works. Well, this is uh, the second one that uh, just after I discovered Umake went out and got an iPad Air 2. And then for some reason, I don't know why, I got another iPad Air 2. And um, both of them have been used actually. I always loved the size of the iPad mini. So I got one of these. iPad Pro came out, obviously had to get uh, a good old iPad Pro. This is the one that I do almost all tutorial tutorials on. Went out and got another iPad Pro. Uh, this one right here, let's see, there we go. And yeah, well, I guess I have a problem. This brings me to this. So a couple weeks ago, Apple unveiled the new iPad, the sixth generation iPad. And um, something just got to me. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna do an unboxing and a review for you guys about this thing because I think this is going to be a transformative iPad for Apple and for the creative community. So here we go, got the smart cover for it. You can probably tell that all my uh, covers are red. The reason for that is they are part of the product red thing. So some of the uh, proceeds go to benefiting the project red, which uh, basically takes care of um, helping people with HIV and preventing transmission to their kids. So here we go, we have the new iPad. Uh, it is, I got the gold one. Usually I get gold, uh, all my iPad, other iPads are in gold if that was possible. This is a new gold, it's actually kind of weird, it's like a rose gold color, but um, it's pretty nice. And um, the one I'd recommend if you're gonna get one is the, let's see if you can see that, the 128 gig Wi-Fi. Uh, I have, um, 3G on a couple of mine, or the 4G, the, the uh, LTE-enabled iPads on a couple of them. It's great, but I barely use it, so I, I would definitely recommend going for the Wi-Fi version, Just uh, but pay the extra for the uh, hard drive space, the 128 gigs on this one, because if you're a creative, you'll definitely like it. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing, and then in the next video, I'm going to do a review. So here we go. It's always fun to take the plastic off and usually unboxing an iPad is pretty anticlimactic. Uh, just the box with the iPad and the charger and cable in it, but whatever. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Always a lot of suction when you're trying to pull the lids off and make a pretty good seal. There it is, in all its glory. Pull it out, you have the charging cable. If you pop this out, you have the 10 volt, I believe this is a 10 volt charger. 12 volt, or 12 watt, cool. This is a 12 watt charger. They're usually uh, 10 on the older ones, so it's nice to see 12, that means it'll charge a little faster. And you get your cable as well, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Got the iPad, the charger, cable, that's all you need. And uh, what Apple calls is the getting started guide. Usually there's a couple cards in here, that's about it. They used to come with a little cleaning cloth. I always thought that was nice. I wish Apple still did that. There we go. All right, and then basically take the plastic off here. And you can see it's it's a nice kind of ro gold color. It's, a, it's an interesting co color. Uh, if I were to, let's see here, compare the gold color to that of the of my iPad mini. Just popping the case off of it really quick. You can see the, the difference in tone. So there's the, the color of the iPad mini, the gold that Apple used on most of the other products. And then here is my other iPad Pro. This one's actually rose gold. Pop this out of the case. You can see the differences in color. 
So this is this is has a kind of little bit more bluish in it. This is a little bit redder, and then this is more of a standard gold. So you can see how those colors stack up uh, against one another. And uh, this is the 9.7 iPad Pro. I love this iPad. And basically, what I'm going to do in my next review or the review of this one is compare these two, so you have an idea of what to look for. Let's see. Take the plastic off. There we go. There it is in all, all her glory. Pull that out. And then we'll pop the Apple Pencil out. Definitely recommend if you're going for this iPad, definitely get an Apple Pencil. Uh, these things are awesome. I love these as styli. So, let's see. I usually just pop the end off and then just pull the plastic down. That's all you really need to do is just to, to get the plastic off because then they have this convenient little pull tab here at the end and you just have to pull this out. It has this little cover here. Inside you have the extra nib and you have the charging adapter. There you go. And then you have the pencil inside. So there is a pencil. It has a little protective sleeve on it and you'll, you are ready to go. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I got a product red smart cover as well. And uh, I will have that on in the next review, but they have this little pull tab. You just pop it, kind of pull it like this. It's pretty sticky actually. And it's pretty clever packaging because it's part of this front cover. So if you just kind of slide it through like that, it opens like that. You can pull this out. And then it'll snap magnetically right to the edge. And that's all there is to it. So now we have one of the new iPads with a smart cover on it. Looks good. And the Apple Pencil. Stay tuned for a, a review on this iPad and how it stacks up to the other iPads that I have. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And uh, this is my first kind of unboxing video I've ever done. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, feedback for me, definitely let me know. Looking forward to hearing from you and looking forward to giving you a review on this iPad later. Take care, guys. Have a great day.